This is The Green Line, a full five-part series focusing on the near-term security implications of climate change, specializing on defense and national responses. The Red Line has teamed up with a climate change research firm and experts from the White House, think tanks, and former national leaders to take a look at how countries and militaries are preparing for situations like increasing natural disasters, what happens to oil-dependent countries when we stop using oil, and which global conflicts are said to be exacerbated by the worsening conditions, with part one of the series focusing on the United States, their current preparations and the scenarios actual defense planners are prepping for in this decade. Have you been awake for the past 10 years? They can't last much longer. They have told me that. They're passing out in their camps after 24-7 fighting and fire. You're gonna have five times, if not more, fires. That it's really no good knowing where the weather is going to change if you don't know the people, the economy, the politics of the places where those changes are going to happen. And so that's what our models and analyses do. They give a specific view of those issues and how they overlap so that various organizations can make better decisions about what to do right now about climate change. That isn't just true in the U.S., but just about any country's armed forces are almost always the only ones with the kind of manpower and organizational capacity to respond to these kinds of there's like really no other viable option to do this sort of stuff at the scale that the data suggests is going to happen. The Green Line, Part 1, the U.S. military's preparation for climate change, airs October 10th, for free on all major platforms.